I am Anil Kumar. We are trying to understand probability in the game of cards. Here is an example. What is the probability of getting full house? Full house means three of a kind and a pair in the game of poker. And the game of poker we give five cards. So in a hand of five cards. So that is how you could really understand the question. So what we are doing here is we are trying to find probability that out of five cards we have a full house full house will mean three of a kind three of a kind means let's say we have three kings right three kings and a pair so something else it could be like like this and a pair so what is the probability of getting this kind of a card so that is the question for you let us see how to solve this now we know in the game of cards we have 52 cards right so their value is uh, 13 are different values right 13 different values values we mean uh, ace king queen like this ace king queen jack these are the face cards and then we have numbers 10 nine eight seven six five four three two right so these are the 13 cards with different values and we also have four suits four suits are uh, spades clubs these are the two black suits and then we have two red which are hearts and diamonds so so every card could be of four types so that means 13 times 4 is 52 right so that is how we have the distribution of cards now to solve this question we are looking for three of one kind and two of another kind so let us see how to do this kind of a question so the first step here is let's find the value of card for three of one kind so value for three of a kind right so we could select this value from 13 right so that is we have 13 options and how many do we choose we choose three out of those right so so if we select one of these any one of this let's say we selected king then we have choice to make from four kings right so we have to choose three out of four right of that value in this case what we did was we have selected king here so we are selecting three out of four kings so that gives us the choice as from four you have to choose three right so that is the first one now we have to select the value for the next one we have already selected one so we are left with 12 different values right so that means for the next this option we have 12 and once we decide on the value we have to select 2 out of 4. So 12, 4, C, 2. That becomes the combination. Correct? So from the multiplication rules, we can say that the probability of our event, let's say event is A, favorable chances are 13, the value of the first 3 of a kind, selecting 3 out of those 4, and then 12 for the pair, we have to select two out of four. So that becomes the favorable chances, right? And total number of outcomes are, we're selecting five cards out of 52, right? So that gives us total number of outcomes. And now we can easily find the probability. So the probability for this event is the ratio of these two, right? Favorable outcome over total number of outcomes. I mean, uh, favorable outcomes is A and the total number of outcomes is the sample space, right? So that is, 
Favorable outcomes are 13, 4C3, 12 times 4C2 divided by 52C5. Okay, So we can use the calculator to find the answer. So it is 13 times 4C3 times 12 times 4C2, 4 C2, that's the numerator, 3744, and we'll divide by, uh, let's do it in two steps now. So now we'll, let's calculate 52C5. We could have done in one step anyway, 2598960. So we'll divide 3744 by 259. 8960 and that gives us the probability of 6 over 4165 and in decimal numbers it is it is very small 10 to the power of minus 3 of all this that means 0 0.00144 right so so that is the probability of getting three of a kind and two of the other kind and that is called full house so this is technically called full house in the game of poker why right? it's very 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 less it's a very strong card to play with i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps you to understand the concepts of probability thank you and all the best